Hey guys, Mars Ningen here bringing you another Dragon Ball Z Dokkan Battle video and so I usually do one of these before each of the World Tournaments just going over the card that is the current World Tournament reward and whether or not it is worth the grind to get extra copies because I know there's a lot of people out there who just do the missions, get the 30 mil or whatever it is now and then they just move on and don't really worry about the World Tournament at all I know last time they added a new step so you can get at least one copy of the card without having to worry about where you finish at the end, which is pretty cool. Um, so the point of this series really is just to discuss whether or not the card is worth grinding the extra to try and finish as high as you can and obviously get as many extra copies as you can. Now, in the past there have certainly been units that I would say fit that description like the tech cell is an excellent support unit for uh, extreme tech or the androids um, or any team you can fit him on I suppose um, and even like the physical Bojack that was a global exclusive he became the best link partner for LR Bojack so if you use LR Bojack a lot you would argue that he was definitely worth the grind so that brings us to this Android 18 so super in Inexhaustible Fighting Power Android 18. So her leader skill, super int types, key plus two, HP attack and defense 60%. I mean, I don't know why they give units random leader skills like this. Like, the fact that we have the 70% barbershop units that almost anyone should be able to get at this point. Like, they're, they're not hard to get. You, you know, you just buy the medals. So no units should be having leader skills worse than them. So... You're not going to be using her as your leader. Her super attack is the Destructo Disc. I like the fact that a lot of the modern 18s have the Destructo Disc, even though she never actually does it in the series. Um, causes supreme damage to the enemy, raises defense by 30% for three turns. Pretty decent. Passive skill and adequ an adequate performance. I mean, talk about an underselling of yourself as the name for your passive. An adequate performance. So she has a high chance of evading enemies' attacks, including super attacks, which we can see here. High chance, 50%. And then attack and defense plus 60% for three turns after receiving an attack. So that obviously means after actually being hit by the attack. So this is where I think her card is a bit weird, because the attack and defense 60% for 3 turns after receiving attack is definitely very useful, especially when coupled with the defense raise from her super attack. But then you don't get this boost if she dodges, which she has a 50% chance to do. So obviously you don't need the defense stack if she dodges, but you don't get the attack stack, which would obviously be very useful in terms of dealing damage. So if we look at her links, she's got Android Assault, Battlefield Diva, Brainiacs, Twin Terrors, Shocking Speed, and Infinite Energy. So her only attack links are Brainiacs and Android. No, wait, that's just defense. So her only attack link is Brainiacs, which, depending on the team you're running her on, you're probably not going to have active very often. So the fact that you're going to miss out on this attack and defense 60% if she doesn't actually get hit is definitely going to have some sort of effect. So overall, I would say... The card is not really that great. Like The high chance of dodging is pretty good. The fact that it kind of negates the second part of her own passive is very odd. Uh, she is on Peppy Gal's Margin Boot, Saga, and the Androids category. Peppy Gal's, I guess she could be pretty useful for like the Peppy Gal Super Battle Road compared to other 18s just because of the built-in chance to dodge. Um, if you get lucky with the RNG and that procs most of the time, then obviously you're going to be saving yourself from taking a lot of damage. Um, but the problem is, obviously, there are no real other named Android 18 units apart from the single future one. Um, so you would obviously have to use her over one of the other ones. And I think the, I think the tech one from the Tournament of Power is still considered the best Android 18. I don't think that this one would take her place at all, so... Uh, she's 12 key multipliers 140% which is actually pretty decent and then of course her super attack can be farmed because of the uh, Universe Survival Saga story event that has the farmable 17 and 18 but of course another factor is that event is not on at the moment so if you wanted to farm her super attack you would have to use keys um, and I don't know if she's honestly worth it I think the overall verdict would have to be that she's definitely not worth the grind to go for extra copies. 
obviously for me i'm gonna try and finish as high as possible for the orbs more than anything um but yeah she's definitely a card that will just sit in my collection i'm sure if i get enough copies i will open all of her paths i'll farm her super attack up when that event comes back and then probably never use her outside of showing her off i guess once we've got our rewards in i can do a showcase video for her but I'm not sure because again, I'm, I'm not going to use Kai's, I'm not going to farm, I'm not going to use keys to farm her super attack, but I mean, I guess I could show her off because this high chance to dodge is probably the most attractive thing about using the card because built in chances to dodge are obviously good. Peppy Gals is considered one of the easier super battle road stages, but you know, not everybody has the same box. For newer players, she would definitely be useful in those aspects, even in the Margin Boo Saga category, Super Battle Road, I guess, because of the built-in chance to dodge. And the fact that you don't have to finish super high to actually get the single copy of her, you can get them from the mission. So everyone has an opportunity to get at least one copy of her. Of course, the flip side of that is, if you take units like that into Super Battle Road that don't have high hidden potential investment, especially ones that are only URs and not TURs, any attacks that she doesn't dodge, she's going to take a ton of damage. So, I'd be interested to see what you guys think in the comments below. But, overall verdict would definitely be that it's not worth doing any extra grinding that you wouldn't have done just to get extra copies of her. She's definitely an underwhelming um, World Tournament card compared to some of the ones that we've had recently. Um, so, I would say not really worth the grind to get extra copies of her. But... I've been wrong about these World Tournament units once or twice before. The Int Armor Kid Gohan, um, after getting him and actually using him, he's actually really good. I think he's really underrated and probably the World Tournament, one of the World Tournament cards I'm looking forward to the Awakening for the most, just to see what he develops into. Because quite a few World Tournament units have given, have had Awakenings that have made them very good. Which uh, this awake this tournament brings the awakening of the Int Super Trunks, who becomes a pretty solid unit. So I'll be doing a showcase for him as well. So let me know down below in the comments what do you think of this Android 18? Um, how hard are you going to go in this tournament? And is it? I guess for most people, it probably is for the orbs more than anything else. Um, but obviously, with the four year and things like the LR um, Family Kamehameha unit right around the corner. A lot of people are not going to want to waste stones on stamina refreshes and will be saving them for pulling on the banners. So let me know what you guys are planning to do. So that is going to be it for the video, guys. This has been the Master Ningen. Smash that like button if you enjoyed the video. Subscribe to the channel if you are new. Let me know what you think down below in the comments. You can follow my Twitch channel or join my Discord. The links are in the description. And I will see you all again soon. Have a good one.